Yes, it's on June 6th. So I'm going to be a panel of, I think, about seven women. And it's for um, future Paralympians. Um, and it's through Sports Science of Canada. So I have a contract position with the Canadian Sport Institute Ontario. Uh, so they're putting it together as well. Um, and it's it's a great venue. And for anyone that's, that's considering being a Paralympian or that will be a Paralympian, it's a great way to kind of just get a little bit of feedback on, you know, what is my life going to look like? You know, where am I going to do things? How am I going to manage my time? How am I going to manage injuries and so on and so forth? And so I'm I'm very excited to be part of this uh, this this program for sure. So yeah, June the sixth. I will send you the link, and then if you want to post it out, by all means, go ahead and do that. Heck yes, heck yes. Um, I was excited about you know potential Olymp Paralympic run and weightlifting because um, I thought. You know what? Which you, pretty still do, which you could still do. You no, are a powerhouse. No. See, I know, I know you trained a champion, but boy, oh boy, when I watched those events, like the weightlifting event, like to see, like I came into this, like with, you know, just so much confidence. Like, I know I can lift heavy. This is awesome. This would be a dream come true. Claire, I watched those YouTube videos. They're lifting like 400 pounds. Well, I guess you're only 50% there then, are you? Let's go. I'm only at 235 and I'm probably at negative 87 after COVID. No. Holy smokes. These women, freaking forces of nature. And I know I'm the last person who should be surprised about that. But intimidated me like nobody's business. Okay. But also at the same token, how are you going to know if you don't try? Honestly. haven't right learned the answer nope. let's go yep <laughs> my goal for you is still to do that so that's I know. let's go